Cardinals trailing with 235 to go against Manhattan. And then, hello, Luke Hancock. He had eight points, including two clutch threes in the final minutes. And here's how the Twitterverse responded. Aaron Rodgers says, Hancock is a bowler. Clutch. Hashtag March Madness. Hello and welcome inside our Campus Insider Studios for another edition of Who's Got Next. I am Shay Pepler alongside our college basketball analyst Jordan Cornette. And Jay, we can talk all night about how clutch Luke Hancock is, but I know that you always say guard play wins in March, so who needs to be better for this Cards team to move past the Billikens now? Shay, you're listening. I'm you know, proud of you. amazing, right? Yes, it comes down <laughs> to guard play. And this kid's the best player on his team, Russ Smith, Russ Diculous. The guy Coach Patino entrusts with the basketball to make decisions. Sometimes he makes Coach Patino look horrible. Most of the time, he makes him look really, really good. Well, Russ Smith struggled in that first matchup in the tournament to score the basketball. Ultimately, he finished with 18 points, the majority coming from the free throw line. This kid has to be great for Louisville to survive and advance throughout this tournament. 40 minutes long, 40 minutes strong. You're only as good as your best player. This guy needs to put this team on his back. He can't risk not playing great every game. Well, let's now talk about the Billikens. And Rob Lowe, the actor, is tweeting about the Billikens. He sent this out. We Rob Lowe's know how to ball, but can he get the W? Well, after 22 points and 15 boards, the Billikens and Rob Lowe do indeed get the W. But, Jay, Lowe does need to be better in the round of 32 if they need to get past the cards, yeah? Well, yeah, St. Louis, you know, sputtered to a finish in the regular season, and a lot of it came with offensive of struggles from beyond the arc. There's no real three-point shooters. Sands, Rob Lowe, who really struggled down the stretch for this team, going one of 18 down the stretch in the last few games from distance. Well, he put it together in their first round matchup, second round matchup, excuse me, first round, nice. second round, whatever it is. 22 <laughs> points, but four threes for this kid in that game. And if he can stretch out that defense with Louisville, how they like to turn you over, if he can give them that punch outside with a team that struggles to score like the St. Louis team does, they got a real shot in this one. All right, who's got next? Prediction time. Is it going to be the Cards or the Billikens? Both teams are great defensively. I think Louisville is a little bit better defensively, but a lot better offensively. I think that three-guard front for Louisville propels them to this win. I'm not betting against Coach Patino in this one. All right, Jordan Cornette, thank you very much. And for more Who's Got Next, be sure to keep checking CampusInsiders.com. For Jordan, I am, I am Shay. We'll see you next time. Who's Got Next is brought to you by Reese's Peanut Butter Cups, the perfect combination of chocolate and peanut butter.